Hello, my name is Jack Hassett from the Limerick Institute of Technology. I'm going to talk to you about orbits. First, let's ask the question, what is an orbit? An orbit is the path that an object takes in space when it goes around a star, a planet, or a moon. For example, the moon orbits the Earth, and the Earth orbits the Sun. What do you know? What do we know? Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. Gravity exists between two objects that have mass. The more mass an object has, the greater its gravitational pull. What do you want to know? You want to know about different historical theories about space and orbits. Kepler's laws to explain the movements of the planets and the law of universal gravitation the circumference and the ellipse, how satellites are launched into space, and how satellites orbit. In this lesson, we will explore what an orbit is and why objects orbit, understand how gravity causes objects to orbit, and discover the different types of orbits that exist. Many years ago, People thought that the Sun orbits in a circle around the Earth. Every morning, the Sun rose in the east and set in the west. Therefore, people believed it was moving around the Earth. The famous Greek philosopher Aristotle believed that the planets and the Sun orbited the Earth. He believed this because there was no constant wind on Earth, therefore it could not be moving. This idea was believed for nearly 1,000 years until Copernicus proposed that the Earth was a planet, just like Venus, and that all planets orbited the Sun. His ideas were supported by Galileo's discovery of moons orbiting Jupiter. This meant that they were orbiting Jupiter and not Earth. Kepler created a series of laws based on Copernicus's theories that described the orbits of planets around the Sun. These laws are still used today. Newton built upon Kepler's laws and explained why the planets move around the Sun and explained that this was caused by gravity. Kepler found that the orbits of the planets follow three laws. The first law is that the planets move in an ellipse around the Sun. An ellipse is a curve in the shape of an oval or a flattened circle. The second law states that the speed of a planet increases as it nears the Sun and it decreases as it moves away from the Sun. The third law shows that there is a precise mathematical relationship between a planet's distance from the Sun and the time it takes to orbit the Sun. It was this law that inspired Newton to create his law of universal gravitation. Newton's law of universal gravitation shows us that all objects exert a force called gravity. The strength of this force depends on the mass of the object and that the effects of this force are weaker the further objects are from each other. This law explains how objects orbit. The Earth is constantly moving and without the pull of the Sun's gravity it will continue to move in a straight line. The pull of the Sun's gravity continues to act upon the Earth causing it to travel around the Sun in an ellipse shape called an elliptical orbit. Using this law, we can also explain the rise and fall of the tides due to the gravitational pull of the Moon orbiting the Earth. When we launch a satellite into space, we need to understand their orbit, the path they will follow. There are different types of orbits. Today we will look at three of these. Ellipse, parabolic and hyperbolic orbits. An ellipse is a flattened circular or oval shaped orbit. A circular orbit is a special type of ellipse orbit. Planets and moons orbit in ellipse patterns around larger gravitational bodies. A parabola is a curve where any point on the curve is an equal distance from the focus. It is symmetrical and approximately U-shaped. A hyperbola is two curves that are like infinite bows. When discussing orbits, we must consider eccentricity. Eccentricity is the value by which an object orbits, varies, or deviates from a perfect circle. 
a circular orbit has a value of 0. An ellipse orbit has a value of between 0 and 1. A parabolic orbit has a value of 1. Finally, a hyperbolic orbit has a value of greater than 1. Circular and ellipse orbits are stable, which means that the object continues in a stable orbit around the gravitational body. In a parabolic or hyperbolic orbit, however, an object approaches a central gravitational body from a distance, swings close just once, and escapes out into space. We can use this type of orbit to launch satellites far into space. What have you learned? In conclusion, there have been many theories throughout history to describe the movements of planets and other celestial bodies. We now know, thanks to the work of Copernicus, Galileo, Kepler and Newton, that the planets orbit around the Sun in specific ways. Newton's law of universal gravitation shows us that all objects exert a force called gravity. The strength of this force depends on the mass of the object and that the effects of this force are weaker the further objects are from each other. Three types of orbits include ellipse, parabolic and hyperbolic orbits. These types of orbits differ by their eccentricity. Eccentricity is the value by which an object orbits varies or deviates from a perfect circle. What have you learned? You should know some different historical theories about this and orbits. Kepler's laws and the law of universal gravitation. About the circumference and the ellipse, how satellites are launched into space, and how satellites orbit. Thank you for listening. Please check out the project portal for more resources on orbits.